Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to the second episode of Tour of Tuna at Gold's Ferry. We're getting that early morning bite. Not really. We're at McDonald's again, our own our own early morning bite. But we'll be at Gold's Ferry in a minute, all right? Um, and we're gonna wet those lines as soon as possible. All right, y'all. So Gold's Ferry is a public day use area and boat ramp located in Ackworth, not too far off of Kellogg Creek Road. Uh, it has, of course, a boat ramp, a beach, playground, many picnic tables and outdoor grills, as well as a couple uh, pavilions. And then regarding the fishing, there's a small fishing pier uh, with some fish attractors that the DNR set up. So realistically, it should be a decent little spot. Maybe we will see. film deer for you for you really and you're just zoomed. all right y'all now we're actually at gold's ferry got my biscuit ready about to wet that first line and hopefully start tearing them up so y'all can get a hopefully good fishing luck rating to start out this location on this pole we got a minner on a bobber and cast it out all right y'all on the larger pole, I got some red worms. I opted the red worms over the night crawlers. Anthony's about to put his first line out. So usually we'd be on that fishing pier, but it's kind of crowded right now. So we're just on the shore bank. It's a very shore bank? Shore, fishing bank. I don't know. Um, the bottom is pretty rocky. So um, trying to steer clear of them rocks. Anthony caught a small bass. Thought it was something a lot bigger than that, man. Hey. Stupid. I hate bass. First fish of the day, though. Mm -hmm. About to make the switch from the red worms to the night crawlers because the red worms just aren't doing it right now. What is it? What could it? Oh, shoot. It's a patch. All right, y'all. I got me a decent bass myself. Here, let's get closer. Yeah. Oh, man, he's deformed. <laughs> yeah, I was putting a hook on my other pole. And I was looking for my bobber on this one. I was like, where is it? Where is it? Look at that, he's deformed. <laughs> he got hit as a child. See ya, buddy. See you later. Yeah, he disappeared. Where'd he go? Mm. All right, All right y'all, so when it comes to accessibility for Gold's Ferry, pretty easy to get in. Uh, you have to go through a neighborhood, uh, which is kind of odd. It's not really off of a big public road or anything like that. Um, five bucks to get in and park if you don't have a pass, which is pretty standard for the day use areas around here. So you still pay something, but it's not that much. The only difficulty could really be trying to find a parking spot or some space if there's a lot of people here on the weekends, which there typically is. So I'm going to give the accessibility a solid 4.1 out of five stars. Again, only knocking a little bit off because you do have to pay and parking can be uh, a pain when it comes to the fishability there is that small pier all right and there is some fishable shoreline but if it's a busy day and there's a good bit of people fishing it's going to be hard to find a decent spot not only that but the terrain can be a little bit difficult especially for bottom fishing uh, i'd recommend using a bobber or some sort of top water uh, rig or setup uh, because, yeah, the bottom of the lake, very rocky around here, as well as a lot of debris, um, driftwood. So it could be, it can make fishing a little bit of a pain. I'm going to end up giving the fishability score eh, a 3.1 out of 5. Not the best, personally, in my opinion. And then let's check out the aesthetic. All right, overall, it's a, it's a nice little spot, 
but again if it's overrun by people uh, especially since it's right next to the beach it can make fishing a little bit lackluster a little bit annoying uh, plus uh, there's a good bit of boat traffic since the boat ramps not too far as well as a little bit of urban development here and there uh, and it's not the cleanest place to be honest there's some trash floating around um, people could do a better job keeping this place a little bit better kept so I'm gonna give the aesthetic a solid uh, 3.6 out of 5 stars uh, not too bad it could just be a little bit clean and a little bit more private and uh, it'd be a great spot so finally the the rating or the category that everyone cares about the most is going to be that fishing luck score uh, we only caught two bass this time around i fished here a couple other times and had similar days uh, only catching a few fish at most so with that i'm going to give the fishing luck score a three out of five all right i think on a good day you can come here and catch a few quality fish more than likely there'll be bass or some big pan fish but i have caught a catfish here before um, Again, my tips would be some sort of topwater rig if it isn't too windy um, and to do bottom fishing at your own risk. So all those categories add up to a final score for Gold's Ferry, 6.9 out of 10 or 69% out of 100. So a D plus, all right, is what I'm going to give Gold's Ferry for the second episode of Tour of Tuna. Uh, ultimately, I think if you come here and it's not busy to definitely give it a shot but on a weekend and on a windy day or any sort of breeze i just i would kind of skip over this one personally um i think there's some other good spots around the lake probably that we're gonna find uh and gold's ferry is just mm, mediocre at best but i hope y'all enjoyed the second episode of tour of tuna um if you like this video of course hit me with that like button more are on the way and subscribe join the southern woods community <laughs> good lord anthony i just noticed you were like that <laughs> without further ado y'all southern woods out